Hey everyone and welcome to this video in which we're gonna be talking about combining photos and videos on the iPhone and there are multiple different ways how you can do it. However, you don't really have that built into your iPhone. I mean, you kind of have, but you don't have any control over it. Because if you go to your photos and go to your memories, in that section, the iOS combines some photos with your videos and creates some kind of memory film which you can watch over from one specific occasion, location, or specific person, whatever. So it technically can be done without any third-party app, but you don't have any control over it. If you want to actually decide which photos and videos are gonna go there to that video, I want you to download a third-party app which is a free one called CapGod. It's my number one or the most favorite video editor on the iPhone and the app is really easy to use because you can easily just open it up. You don't even have to log in with your uh, account. You can use it without any uh, problem and you just go ahead and click on your project and you basically have two sections. You have photos, videos and live photos. But uh, this means that you can choose any video and uh, the photo at the same time. And it also depends on which you go with first, because let's say, let me give you an example. If you go ahead and look up some kind of video, which is horizontal, it's uh, 16 by nine, whatever, and you just add it there, you add it to the timeline and it's okay. Like you have the video right here with all the good stuff, no worries there. But if you wanna add uh, some photos, you click on uh, the plus and go to the photos. And now the picture that you added there definitely has to use the dimensions of the video which was shown previously so if i just bring in a vertical photo on a timeline which was created by a horizontal video clip then the the entire timeline is horizontal so uh, the the photo as you can see only takes up a small portion in the middle of it you can zoom it in and make it like fill out and more but you cannot suddenly just make the clip vertical when the previous video was horizontal so that's the aspect ratio of the entire project so uh one thing important to know is it's really crucial to to begin with the correct image if i began with the uh, with the photo as a part of the first thing onto the timeline then the entire timeline would be vertical and the video i would add would just not be or would just not take up the whole width of the screen so that's how it works but basically using the CapCut app you can combine any videos any photos as you wish you can make them longer shorter you can cut the clip into multiple different pieces you can even place the photo on the top of the video so there are plenty of different things and options you can play with at the end you just need to export the video and just make it and just save it to your photos app so it's in fact very simple to do but you need to know what the project should look like what the goals are and what exactly you want to achieve with that kind of video so it's really up to you to decide how you want to combine it where you want to do it and how but i would definitely use CapCut, although you have some different third-party apps for it but CapCut is definitely my favorite one it's free you don't even need any account you can export it without any watermark so it's a very nice app i would only recommend it to you of course i'm not affiliated with them by any way i'm just enjoying the app seriously so that's why i talk good about it okay so this is how you can combine the photos and videos on your iphone into one video into one project so i really do hope that the video was helpful for you if it was i would appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up and for more content and for more videos like this one make sure to stay tuned by subscribing to the fox deck thanks a lot for watching and i'll catch you in the future peace out guys